Well, if you're like many home gardeners and you're growing some tomato plants in your garden this fall, you'll notice that when those cool temperatures start coming on, we start getting a lot of fruit set again, and it never fails that the first freeze comes along and we have a lot of green tomatoes on our plants. Well, joining us today here on Oklahoma Gardening is Dr. Barbara Brown, our OSU Extension Food Specialist. And Dr. Brown, you're going to show us how we can use these green tomatoes in different recipes. All right. One of the traditional things that people do is use them either in pickles or relish, but we're going to look at using them in a casserole. People also fry them, but we're going to try and look at something that doesn't okay. add quite as much fat to the diet. First thing we need to do is take the top off. Normally, if the red tomato, you core that center out and, and throw mm -hmm. that away. But since the whole tomato, when it's green, is hard anyway, all we need to basically do is slice off this uh, stem attachment place here and, and throw that away. Okay. Then we'll slice these in, in oh, fourth to third inch thick slices uh, and then we'll, we'll use those in our casserole. Okay, well one thing we've noticed here when slicing them that we'd like to show you is how a tomato actually ripens and that is from the inside out as you can see with our slices here and from the stem in. So that's a, an interesting way to show how a tomato ripens up which brings me to the first question for you. How do we store green tomatoes versus red tomatoes? If you don't want them to ripen, if you're going to use them in something like this, then go ahead and put them in the refrigerator. If you're hoping that they're going to ripen up later on, then never put them in the refrigerator because they'll stop ripening at that point and they'll never go any further. Mm -hmm. All right, at this point we've sprayed a casserole dish and we're just going to layer, and you can help me Steve, layer okay. some tomatoes in the bottom here, uh, just any old way. It doesn't need to be artistic whatsoever. And we're going to use, oh, somewhere between four to six tomatoes, depending on the size of the dish and, and uh, the size of uh, uh, the tomatoes. We sprinkle a little bit of salt. What, what we had here was one teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of sugar, and one teaspoon of, uh, half a teaspoon of pepper. And we'll sprinkle some of that onto the tomatoes, some of each one. You could combine these uh, if you wanted to and save just one sprinkling step. Then I have a cup of breadcrumbs. Now these are fresh breadcrumbs from fresh bread. White bread works better for this because it, it tends to absorb the moisture that's going to come off the tomatoes better than would uh, whole wheat, for instance. But you could use that if that's what you had on hand. Now the way to get these is to put the bread one piece at a time into the blender and just give it a burst. If you try and crumb these up by hand, you'll be here all week trying to just get the breadcrumbs done. I was getting ready done. to ask you that question, <laughs> how you okay. did that. Then we have a cup or four ounces of sharp cheddar cheese. Now, we use sharp. It has a higher fat content and a higher calorie content, but it also has a more pronounced flavor, so that while it may seem like you're getting more calories, you can use less cheese this way, and so you end up with something that's got okay. less fat in it. Now, we repeat these layers. Okay. Uh, so if you want to go ahead and sure. put on more tomatoes. Okay, a little bit more pepper, salt, and sugar again. Now, we could end up with three layers, depending on, on how artistic we are running on time here, so we're going to do two layers. Now, normally you would go through all the layers again. We're going to stop with breadcrumbs at this point. Uh, the cheese for the top layer will add about five minutes before the baking time is, is mm -hmm. completed. This then goes in, uh, has some margarine dotted on the top of it, and if you're watching your weight or cholesterol levels, uh, you could uh, eliminate uh, the margarine that we dot on the top. It just adds a little bit more moistness, a little bit more richness, but it can be done without. Okay. We put a lid on it, put it in the oven at 350 for about 55 minutes. Uh, that will give the tomatoes time to tenderize, and at that point uh, we'll take the lid off, put the cheese on, and put the rest of the cheese on, put it back in the oven for about five more minutes until the cheese is melted. How is our green tomatoes as far as uh, nutritional value compared to the red? Do we still get any nutrition you out of You get nutrition from them. You, you don't get nearly as much as you would from a red tomato, mm -hmm. however, because as the tomato ripens on the vine, that's where the vitamin C and vitamin A are deposited in the tomato. So when you pick it green, you pick it before a lot of those nutrients mm -hmm. have been laid down. It does provide a real good source of fiber, however, which mm -hmm. is something that we all need to increase. Uh, in our diets. So it's still a good idea, idea to use them and not let them go to waste. Right. Plus it's, a, it's a economical to mm -hmm. go ahead and do so. If you've got those in the garden, there's no point in, in letting them, mm -hmm. them go to waste. And it adds variety to the diet, which is also something that's real important. We tend to get into a rut, eat the same things all the time. What else would you serve with something like this? Uh, any kind of a meal. Particularly a good idea would be something like a roast chicken or a meatloaf or something mm -hmm. that's also going to be in the oven for about the same length of time. Okay. And that way it's an energy-conserving uh, meal at, right. as well as uh, being a 
something. What have you got over good. here too? Those are an, an example of green tomato pickles. These are a sweet variety of pickle. It uses sugar. It's uh, similar to a bread and butter pickle, maybe mm -hmm. a little bit sweeter than that. Um, most often we find green tomatoes in relishes and in chow chow and, and things like that. So okay. this is something a little bit different. Well great. These are some good ideas again for us to use with our green tomatoes. and. Like you've seen here on their show before, if you'd like a recipe, you can contact your local county extension office or you can send us a stamp self-addressed envelope here to Oklahoma Gardening. Well, thanks again. We look forward to having you back on the show again in the near future. Thank you. We hope you enjoyed this video. It's part of our OK Gardening Classics YouTube channel. You can also find more recent videos on our Oklahoma Gardening YouTube channel. And join us on social media for great gardening tips, photos, and discussion.